Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. This is the last topic review video of Unit 5. Today we're going to be looking at Unit 5, Topic 12, Women in Agriculture. Now before we get started, I want to remind you that when you're done with this topic review video, you need to go check out my summary video for Unit 5. In that video, I cover everything you need to know about the agriculture unit. It takes about 30 minutes, but it covers the entire unit. There's a lot of concepts in this unit, and in order to make sure that you can succeed, I've also created with it study guides, answer keys, practice quizzes, and more. All of this can be found in my ultimate review packet. You can find a link for it in the description below. I know I talk about this packet all the time at the end of my videos, but I assure you this packet is awesome. I have spent a bunch of time making sure that it can help you get an A in your class and a five on that national exam. So click the link down below and check that out after you're done with this topic review video. All right, let's get into the review. When looking at the world today, we can see that less developed countries traditionally have more women in the field of agriculture. They're more likely to have traditional gender roles that have been formed throughout history. For example, if we look at Sub-Saharan Africa, or if we look at Southwest Asia, we can see that there's a large percentage of women in the field of agriculture. As countries continue to develop and move further down the demographic transition model, they start to allow for more opportunities for women in society. This development allows for farms to start utilizing new machinery, which which reduces the agricultural density of a society and the need for human labor. This allows for more urbanization to occur where men and women will start to move to the city. However, even as urbanization continues to happen and economic development continues to occur, we still see that women are more likely to work with agricultural products or work at more low paying jobs. As society continues to develop, we see more and more opportunities for women. However, many traditional gender roles still linger. Women are still pushing for equal representation and opportunity in the political spectrum, the workforce, and in their own communities. Today, countries that are still in the early stages of the demographic transition model are more likely to see women do hard manual agricultural labor and have traditional gender roles assigned to them. Unfortunately, we also see that women are more likely to be malnourished as more of the caloric intake is prioritized for men. They also have less political representation and are less likely to be allowed to own land. As countries continue to develop both economically and socially and move further down that demographic transition model, we can start to see that the land ownership of women increases. Women also gain more economic, political, and social opportunities in society. This allows them to leave the field of agriculture and start joining other parts of the economy. And when countries allow women to be more active in society, they see higher economic growth and a higher standard of living. And just like that, geographers, we're done with the Unit 5 topic review videos. Now you know the drill. Answer the questions on the screen and check your answers down below. And when you're done with all that, go watch that Unit 5 summary video. I assure you all the resources in that ultimate review packet will help you with your AP class and will also help you with that national exam. Again, you can find a link to that in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified when the new Unit 6 videos come out. All right, that's all the time we have for today, Geographers. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you online.